What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. So in this episode, I'm going to discuss Daisy Editor Loader and why if you're on PC, you need to stop using JSON. All right, so here we are in the Daisy Editor. If you have a PC and you have Editor, you're familiar, you load in around Novi Sober, here we are. So when you load a JSON, all right, let's import a JSON for an example. Uh, Dab's bunker. Here we go. Import the JSON. We're still here at Novi Sober. We hit the map. There's the bunker up here at Tizzy, where I put it in my video like a week ago or something. And we can teleport up here by clicking the middle scroll wheel. Tap map. Here we are. Okay. Well, it had scaled items, and now they're unscaled. As well as we had to teleport ourselves up here. Now, let's take a look at something else. Let's get rid of that. Now we're up here at Tizzy. Let's load up an actual saved file, not an exported JSON, an actual saved file. When you save a file, they save as a DZE, a DAISY editor file. It's a binarized file, scaling holds, cop cars don't duplicate on restart with this file method. And also, when we import a DZE, let's find the DZE, the new VMC I'm working on. It actually remembers where you were looking when you last saved, remembers all the scaling, remembers all your placements, and you load right into that actual build. Lock those. Now all of it's locked just about. That has nothing to do with this. But now, Control S, it's going to ask me what I want to save. I'm resaving this DZE, overwriting the existing, same as we always do. And now, when I load back in, my camera should be over there. So let's try that. Let's load up a new one, just a dump file. We have VMC. We're looking at it from this angle. Let's import the DZE again and see where we end up facing north at the same place we were before it's always gonna face you north for some reason so that's one benefit of using the DZE but now that we've saved this DZE how do we put this on our server without a JSON let's take a look at that now of course you want to export your XML is normal to get your map group pause entries, so you can have loot economy at all your new additions. But, now that we have that DZE file, this is where the DAISY editor loader comes into play. What we want to do is subscribe to this mod. It's going to tell us that we have some other required mods. So we're going to click on those. You want to subscribe to those. Once you subscribe to these new mods, you're going to open your Daisy launcher. Let's close this game out. And when you load up your launcher again, if you don't already have those mods subscribed, per all mods, it's going to have a little message here and tell you that you have new mods loaded. Never mind this. So we add those mods, Daisy Editor, CF, and I believe it was Dabs Framework. Yes, we add those like any mod. So just like any basic mod, we're going to connect FTP to our server, go to our main directory, you're going to right click on the mods in your workshop folder, and you're going to upload it. I already have this added along with the supporting mods CF and Dabs Framework, which are needed for Daisy Editor Loader to work. And then per all mods, we put the key of each mod into the keys folder. Then we're going to navigate to our Nitrado server, go to your Generals tab, and at the bottom, this is where you have your call lines for your various mods. So you want to put, make sure you have CF, Dabs Framework, and Daisy Editor Loader, which is somewhere scattered throughout this mess. 
Once you've added those, make sure you have a semicolon after each mod to separate them. Click save. It saves. It's going to reload your page. And now you are ready to restart your server. Once you've restarted your server, we have those mods loaded up, possibly loaded in to test it. Make sure you spit no errors out. Let's reconnect to our server, FTP. I'm using FileZilla. Connected to my Nitrato PC server. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to our missions folder. Open up whichever map you're working on. And inside, now we have an editor files folder. It auto generates. This is where you simply drag and drop your DZEs. You would have your FTP up. Open your file browser. You want to go to your documents, DAISY, editor, where we keep all our JSONs or anything that imports or exports from DAISY editor. And you're going to find whichever DZE you want to work with. I recently did a VMC build, so I'm going to upload that to my server. I'm simply going to click it, drag it, and drop it over here into my FTP window. It'll do a thing, give me an alert, and now it's here. We simply need to restart our server, and this will be part of it. Scaled everything. You want to add your map group pause entries as we exported them as well. What this does is communicate these class names, group names, type names, whatever you want to call them, with the map group proto. And these are your positioning center points for those loop maps. And now these items, should you possess a map group proto for them, will have loot economy. Control S to save. From there, we want to open up the folder where we edit our files at. Take our map group pause.xml, drag it right here into our main missions folder. We're going to overwrite it as this is a replacement for what we had. Gained a little bit of size. We got an alert here that it was successful. So let's restart our Nitrato server. We're going to load in. We're going to take a look at that new build. So here we are on my Nitrato PC server, GG Adventures. Several mods. This one has the jungle mod, etc., etc. So here's the VMC location. Right now it looks vanilla because my player. Our character is over there at the Devil's Outpost, Devil's Castle. So he's not here to spawn it in. Just like JSON or loot or events, it's all triggered by a player. So this isn't a JSON build, but let's spawn my player over here. And everything will start spawning in around me. And now we have our custom build in the server. We didn't use a JSON. It's smoother, a little bit easier for PC to load. And my favorite feature, upon restart, police cars no longer duplicate. Whereas on JSON with console, this was always a problem. And these duplicate. Things used for an event, bonfires, Christmas trees, helicopters. They all duplicate and stack based on a type's lifetime. Well, with the DZE, that's no longer a problem. So if you're on PC... There's several reasons why you need to stop using JSON. So there we have it for this one. Explanation and breakdown of Daisy Editor Loader. And why if you're on PC, you need to start using .dze files on your server. Of course, this is only my opinion on how I'm doing my build. I'm learning as I go just like everybody else. So take this how you will. Again, this applies to PC server people and just changing up a little way of how you do things. JSON's no longer needed. These are a little bit more efficient. But that's pretty much going to be it for this one. Hope you learned some shit. I'm out.